this is part one to begin transforming this cabinet. It's a Pulaski cabinet. It's very ornate, got lots of details. We picked it up at an antique or a flea market in uh, St. Louis oh, several weeks ago. And so we're just finally getting to it. Um, for prep work on this, it was cleaned um, two times with two coats of TSP. Um, just brush it on, wipe it off, and then we'll rinse that with like a, a damp cloth. And then it was sprayed with three coats of shellac, um, letting it dry in between each time. And the shellac will help to block in those wood tannins, which causes uh, dark spots to show through the wood whenever you paint wood in light colors. So this is my base coat, and this is um, Krylon Chalky Finish Paint. And I picked out a very light icy blue, which actually goes on more like an antique white, kind of a, it goes on like a, like the color of fog, like a, a foggy neutral kind of color. And so that's what it looks like to me anyway. But I went to Lowe's and picked up this paint and it's $25 a can. I am experimenting with new paints coming very soon, but I like this. And so I'm using a chip brush and just going on really light. I thought some of you might just want to see like what what the beginning process is. We're all in our different in different stages of flipping furniture or painting furniture. You might just want to paint furniture for your home or for a family member you know what have you and so you may not be a furniture flipper and or maybe you are but you haven't done a piece like this so yes i am leaving on the handles yes they have been cleaned with tsp all the grime is off them and i'm just there's no need for me to take off the handles where i'm painting them and i'm going to go over it later with some wax um probably a gold wax but who knows could be a dark wax but usually i go over with a gold or copper wax and so this is a stage i just go on uh i think the key is on the base coat is to put on a light coat you don't want um real thick layers so put on the light coat don't worry about getting a hundred percent coverage on your base coat when we try to do that that's when paint goes on really thick and so this was day one i got most of this cabinet painted in oh gosh just like 20 minutes and i still have to do the side and the top but that'll just take me maybe another 10 or 15 minutes so this is going to come along pretty quickly and so the next step for me i believe i haven't determined 100 percent, but i believe the next step is i'm gonna dry brush on some gold all over on the sides and the front and then go over that dry brush a, oh kind of like a french blue over that and then we'll have some of this antique white or like foggy white peeking through and some gold peeking through and some blue over it so that's my plan and sometimes plans change and plans go astray but that's my vision for it that i have in my mind right now and this is part one of the process so i thought i would show you just what this looks like and so i will i do get questions a lot people are like how does it de why does it look so dark do you use wax on those details there i don't i just don't like if you don't jab your brush in on the ornate details and stuff then that wood will show through and it will, will look really dark and aged and beautiful we use that technique a lot on spindle chairs that have some detail showing through or anything that has detail if you just don't get a hundred percent coverage don't jab your brush into where everything is covered you'll get those dark tones and it's just a very, very pretty contrast. I hope you enjoyed this and keep an eye out for part two.